This is a compelling advertisement. Our eye is immediately drawn to the red of the Jeep because it contrasts well with the black and white background. Also, our eyes are probably going to drift to the X marks the spot slogan. We see this at the top of the page. Um, we've got some nice contrast created most likely with the marquee tool, which we learned yesterday. So we're going to be thinking about color scheme and we're going to be thinking about these kinds of advertisements. Now when we're talking about a black and white image in class, we're going to refer to it as desaturated. When something's desaturated, it means it has no color. And we're going to be talking about levels. So what are we doing today? First thing that you're going to need to do is find an image and we'll start with this one and again to desaturate an image means to make it black and white we're gonna be pressing command shift U to do that and then we're always gonna apply levels and that's gonna make the lights lighter and the darks darker to do that we're gonna press command L so again we're gonna press command shift U to make the image black and white and you're gonna use a photo uh, from class, from school, from our website. And after we desaturate it, as it is right now, we're gonna apply levels. And what that does when we press Command L is it opens up this histogram. In the lower left-hand corner, there's this little black uh, triangle. And what this does is it makes the darks darker and only the darks darker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it just a little bit. And this part requires a little bit of an artistic touch. And so I'm want the lights to be a little bit lighter. Now if I drag it all the way, it drowns out everything. That doesn't look good at all. So you want to give it a little um, little bit of finesse. The middle triangle, this gray one, adjusts mid-tones. And this, this takes a little bit of practice. Um, and again, we want to create contrast. That looks great. So if we look at it before, it's washed out. It's really gray, right? Here all of a sudden, um, this walk sign really pops it looks good here we've got another image this was taken on an overcast day on 18th street right by the school i'm gonna press command shift u to desaturate i'm gonna press command l let's make the darks a little bit darker let's make the lights a lot lighter uh, much lighter and when i'm looking at it we can see uh this sort of tonal range of the image represented right here so i see a lot of darks right but this space right here there's no light so what we're going to do is we're going to amp up the lights and all of a sudden when I'm looking at it I see the the stripes in the street get a lot brighter there's a lot more contrast and this all of a sudden this image is looking much better than before so this looks awful this looks amazing all right yesterday we used the marquee tool and we're gonna do that again today we're gonna take out the rec rectangular marquee we're gonna create a new layer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a slogan um, so you're going to come up with something simple, maybe inspiring. Um, I'm going to use this image, and I'm going to copy and paste by pressing Command-C, Command-V. Walk this way to inspiration at NYC Lab. I'm going to use the text tool. I'm going to click. I'm going to press Command-V to paste. Great. Um, all right. I'm going to press Command-A, and that's going to highlight everything. I'm going to right align the text. And that looks good right there. So now all the text is aligned on the right side of the screen. Now it's a little bit hard to see, right? Um, so what we want to do is we want to create uh, some really nice contrast. To do that, I'm going to um, grab the marquee. And actually, second thought, I'm looking at this. I want to create a little bit more space between the text. So I'm going to adjust the letting. I'm going to hold select everything so it's all highlighted and then hold option and then press up and down to adjust the letting you want to be a little bit sensitive with that all right we can always play around with that later all right so the marquee tool we need to put it on a new layer make sure this new layer is underneath the text layer i'm clicking i'm left clicking and i'm dragging i'm going to go to the paint bucket bam and we could do this on another layer. Right now I'm feeling pretty confident and it's not that serious. I'm dragging it to the edge of the screen. I'm gonna press G or select the paint bucket, bam. And then let's do one more. All right. All right. And there we go. There is our poster. Um, looks pretty good. I can't wait to see your name and date on this image. If you have any questions, please let me know.